all right welcome back to my channel it has been forever since I filmed a tutorial for you guys I actually think that the last time that I filmed a tutorial was before December it was definitely before December and um, it takes a lot of balls for me to come up on camera right now with my face looking like this but a lot of you guys asked me on my last skin update video to please please show you guys how I cover my acne. A lot of you guys know that I'm starting Accutane. I think I'm like 14 days away before I can finally begin and I am so, so excited. I'm telling you guys, that's really the only thing getting me through these days because I was breaking down a lot because of the skin. I cut off my forehead right now because the forehead is clear. So you guys don't really have to focus on that too much. Mostly it's all here. Um, it's also really bad on my chest and really bad on my back. I do cover that up as well. I use pretty much the same products on my body. If you guys want to see a video on that, let me know. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and yeah, I just really wanted to come out with this video because a lot of you guys were shocked when I came out with my acne video showing you guys my acne. Um, because you said that on my videos you can't see it at all. And you're just pretty much shocked that when I came on camera like this with no makeup on, that this is what was underneath. Um, I even told you guys the products that I used and a lot of you guys said that since these are products that I have mentioned on my channel before that you went out and purchased them yourself but for some reason you aren't getting the full coverage that I get. So I want to show you guys exactly how I use these products. Um, another thing that you guys will be really happy to hear is that the majority of it is drugstore and I do see a lot of full coverage routines here on YouTube but not that I'm knocking anyone, but it's for people that don't really need full coverage. So anything is going to be full coverage on you. You know, this is skin. This is skin that needs full coverage. So this video, I really hope that it helps some of you guys. I know that a lot of you really got inspired by that video and that you guys got really excited for me to share my journey and that I got so many requests before my skin clears up please God, that um, you want to see how I cover it for those of you that aren't going on Accutane or for those of you that are suffering from acne. So it might be kind of a long video. I want to talk you guys through it. I'm only going to show you the foundation. I will include, you know, the concealer, the, um, the bronzer, the blush, the highlight, and then I will go and do the rest of my makeup, like my eyes and lips off camera, just so it's not a really, really long video. Now, when I'm not talking through this, um, and explaining every single step. This is my everyday routine and it does take me 15 minutes, including the eyes and everything. It's probably gonna take me 15 minutes just to do the skin in this video since I'm explaining it all to you, but it's really not all that crazy of a routine. So I'm gonna flip my um, mirror like this, which kind of dims out my light a little bit, which is good. I'm gonna actually brighten it one notch. Oh, that's darkened. Just like that okay but I don't want to brighten it too much for this video because the more that I brighten my light or the camera it works to wash everything out which is the reason that I normally put the brightness all the way high when I'm filming my beauty videos because I want to blur all this out but obviously for this video I don't I want you guys to really see it so the first thing that I do I wash my face I am gonna come up with an updated skincare routine for you guys but it's gonna change when I'm on the Accutane and obviously it's not doing anything for me right now so once I have a good skincare routine down I will share it with you guys for my under eyes I do have a favorite under eye cream this is the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener eye cream you guys know that I'm not very big on high-end products. If I can find something in the drugstore, hands down, I would prefer to buy it from CVS, Rite Aid, Target, Walmart, just to save that extra money. I have never come across an under eye cream that's as amazing as this one. So again, it's by Tarte, the C Brightener Eye Treatment. So I like to put that on, just on my under eyes. And you guys can even see that I even break out on my temples. And those are actually some of the really, really painful ones. I don't know why... I guess because it's a bone right there, they really hurt. Now, on to moisturizer. Here's the thing. Maybe you guys can help me. I have not been able to find a moisturizer that does not break me out right now. I'm, I've been using CeraVe. Um, I'm thinking of going back to Cetaphil, but I feel like Cetaphil is similar to CeraVe. I've been using pure aloe vera leaf. Like, I go to the Hispanic market and buy aloe vera, and I slather that on my face at night, but I still even feel like that irritates my face. So I don't know what it is with moisturizers, they break me out even worse, even the really gentle ones. So what I have been using is this spray. It's called a hydrating mist from, I picked this up from Ulta. It's from Juice Beauty. 
And basically what it is, is a moisturizing, oh there's a train passing, of course. I live really near a train station, so that's something that you guys might have to put up with in my future videos. Sorry about that. But anyway, this um, is a spray. The girl told me that it has no water in it, because I'm like, I don't want to pay $30 for a spray thing of water. It comes with um, white grape juice, aloe juice, vegetable, glycerin, rose hip fruit extract, a whole bunch of really moisturizing things. And since it's not a cream or a lotion, and it's a oh my gosh since it's a light spray I feel like it doesn't clog my pores but it still moisturizes my skin so I like to put that on and then I'm gonna move directly onto the foundation now the foundation hands down the most fullest coverage foundation that I have ever come across I talked about this when I first started my YouTube channel is the covergirl aqua smooth foundation I get mine in the shade buff beige and basically what it is is a cream foundation Cream foundations give you the most full coverage. More than a liquid, obviously more than a powder, more than a stick. If you want full, full coverage, go with creams. The only thing with cream foundations, let me put my phone on vibrate because I know it's going to be going off. The only thing with cream foundations is that they do tend to get a little bit more oily through the middle of the day, but I'd rather have a little bit of an oil breakthrough, breakthrough and full coverage rather than you starting to see all of this poke back out. So... I normally will start with the foundation and then I go in for my under eyes and two brushes I used to use the covergirl aqua smooth with my Sigma f80 flat top kabuki brush It gives good coverage flat top brushes are going to give you the most coverage, but it's a really small head That's what she said <laughs> instead of that one. I have been using this one by elf It's 99 cents or a dollar at Target and it's just a bigger brush altogether, so it gives me that full coverage. This brush also is a little bit less dense and more fluffy and more, um, not smooth on the face. It's, it's more, I feel like it's more gentle. This, the bristles on this one are a little bit more dense, so I feel like it, it creates more friction on my face. This one is a lot smoother. So all that I do is I dip this, I dip my, um, my brush into the foundation. And what I like to do at first is apply a thin layer like all over my face. After that, I'm going to go in and stipple another layer like on top of where I need all of that coverage. So this takes me about, I would say, two minutes. So I'm probably going to speed it up. But again, all that I'm going to do is put one thin layer all over and then build it up in the areas that I need it. So the majority of everything is covered up. What I like to do next, I look like dead right now because my under eye circles and my lips are blanked out. I'm going to go in with my chapstick. This is the NYX Butter Lip Balm. What color are you? It's in um, BLB08. I don't, oh, it says brownie. It's in the shade brownie. And my lips are really, really dry lately. So I'm just going to put this. This is my favorite lip balm. They have a whole bunch of different colors and it, this one is actually really pretty. So. Okay, make myself look a little bit back to life here. And then what I like to do is just let this dry on the face, kind of let it sink in while I take care of my under eye circles. So what I'm using to take care of those is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I have 10 light and 15 fair. To be honest with you guys, most, most times I will just use the darker one um, like on an everyday basis, just like that. But on days when I wanna be a little bit extra, want a little bit of highlight I will go in with the lighter shade on top and I will just mix them up together and I kind of just like to let it sit there and cook for about 20 seconds and then I'm gonna go in with my brush to buff it out and the brush that I like to use is this one by Morphe brushes it is called the G2 and oh my god I look all types of crazy right now okay so after I let it set I'm just gonna go in with a stippling motion just so that it has a good full coverage to it and I'm just going to basically be pressing it into my skin now I am going to be setting the under eye concealer with a powder 
but I'm not going to be setting the rest of my face with a powder. Now, if you have not sensitive skin and or you have a powder that works really well with your skin, you could definitely set this foundation with a powder. But for me, the state that my skin is in right now, I just don't want to layer more products on top. And I don't know. I just feel like if I put a powder on top, a lot of powders have talc. It's an irritant. It's going to make my skin even more irritated and clog pores and all of that. So I basically just let the foundation dry too. It has like a powdery finish to it anyway. And then I will just blot throughout the day if I really need it. Um, so after that, I'm going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. This is one of my favorite, favorite under eye setting powders because it's really brightening and it does not crease under my eyes. So I'm going to go in with that same brush. I don't even bring out another brush for this. And anywhere that I put that concealer, I'm going to place this just to kind of lock that down and make sure that it does not crease throughout the day. Okay. So after that, now I'm going to go back into the skin. My skin looks all one dimensional right now. My face, it's all blank, one color, one solid color. So I need to add in a little bit more dimension, some glow, some shadows, highlight, just to make it look a little bit more natural. So this is my everyday routine. I like to stick to one brush. I'm using another Sigma brush. This is the Large Angled Contour F40. And then I just want to bring a little bit of... Um, kind of like color back in my face. I want, I'm not really going to contour. I'm using a powder as a bronzer. This is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. So even though I didn't set my whole face with the powder, I am using a foundation powder on some areas of my face. There's just no way around it. Um, I don't like using cream, cream bronzers or anything like that on my face because of course that's going to clog my pores a lot more. So what I like to do, I don't know if I said this is the shade W8. It's actually not a bronzer but I just get it in a shade that's a lot darker than my skin tone. And I love this powder. Like, it just warms up my face so, so nicely. So I like to apply it on um, my hairline, going down my temples, down the sides of my nose. Again, I'm not contouring, but it's kind of the places that you would contour. Um, this is the part where it gets a little bit difficult. That's my bad breakout area, but I do want to sculpt out my um, cheekbone a little bit. So I'm just very gentle because if I swipe this over the foundation, it's going to knock out that coverage. So I just very gently kind of stipple right in that area. And since it is a foundation powder, believe it or not, it gives a little bit more coverage on top of what you already placed there. And on your jawline, just to blend it in along the chin and the same thing on the other side. Last two steps are the highlighter and the um, blush. I was gonna say bronzer again. Here's the thing, I love highlighting, I really do. But when you highlight, it brings more attention to texture, to those bumps, so you have to be careful about how you do it. With that being said, I am using a highlighting blush. This is the CoverGirl, um, oh my gosh, I always forget the name of this. Oh, right here, the Cheekers Blush in Rose Silk. I have put so many of you girls onto this blush. It's just amazing. It gives a really, really nice sheen. I'm going in with the same brush that I was using before. The only thing is, like, I really have to pack this product onto my brush in order for it to show up, but it's so, so pretty. And sometimes... Like when I'm not broken out in that area, I can really like put this on strongly. On the days that I am breaking out pretty bad in that area like today, I don't like to use too much of this because again, it is a highlighting blush. It's going to bring more attention to those bumps. And again, I'm breaking out on my the tops of my cheekbones and that's where I like to put my highlighter. But I'm going to show you guys anyway because not everybody breaks out in the same areas that I'm broken out. Um, to highlight, I'm using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Mine is broken, so I have to be careful. And I'm using a Real Techniques brush. This is called their contour brush. I love this to highlight. And I just feel like highlighting your face just adds such like a pretty glow. So I would not recommend going crazy with the highlighter when you have like textured skin and bumps, but a little bit I think is okay. So same thing on this side. And all right, from here, what I'm going to do is just work on my eyes you guys know that I don't like to go crazy, especially during the week. It's very simple, like three minutes on the eyes, one minute on the lips, and then I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, guys, and here we have the finished look. I will list everything in the description box down below so you guys know exactly what I used on the rest of my face. It's been about five minutes, and you guys can see that the foundation, I don't know why I just touched my ears, <laughs> the foundation has completely set um, it doesn't have a tacky feel at all, and I kind of feel like for some reason the coverage 
builds on itself the longer that it's on my face. So in the beginning, if you kind of roll it back a little bit when I was first dabbing it on, I feel like it looked a little bit more sheer, but then after it completely dries onto my face, it has more of a matte finish and it just kind of covers everything up. So you guys can see this is the after, here's the other side. And the thing is with covering acne, I think that almost in every case you can cover the redness and the pigmentation of the acne. Where it gets difficult is covering the texture. I can't really camouflage bumps and, you know, the texture basically of the skin unless I have like special effects makeup with like clay and stuff that I'm like putting on my face and pasting and peeling off and yeah, that's just not going to happen. So this is the best that I can do. Um, it is definitely a dramatic difference. A lot of my friends that see me in real life saw my acne video and they were like, wow, we see you all the time in person and we never thought that was what was underneath the makeup. So. Makeup can definitely do wonders. The majority of it was all drugstore products, so I really hope that this helped you guys out. Everything will be listed down below, um, and hopefully in the future, after my whole Accutane routine, I won't have to put on this much makeup because I do kind of feel like I have to put this on just to go run to the store, go to the post office, even though it's a quick routine, kind of is a lot of makeup. It's heavy coverage, it's two layers, I feel a little bit caked on, but it does make me feel more confident. So I hope that this helped some of you guys, even if it just helped one person out there. So um, that's it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I will be documenting the entire Accutane experience. Um, the playlist and everything will be down below. Expect an update probably in about a month from now. Hopefully we'll be in a different state with this skin. So thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Mwah. Bye.